That's a real nasty habit you've got there, Predator. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst things the Predator has done. Predators just don't sit around making hats out of rib cages. They conquered space. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the most brutal kills, attacks, and evil deeds perpetrated by the infamous extraterrestrial hunters across all their feature film appearances. But be warned, some entries on this list are pretty gruesome, so a mature content warning is in effect. Number 10. Beheaded King Willie Predator 2 In 1990s Los Angeles, Colombian and Jamaican gangs stir up an ugly turf war amidst a sweltering heat wave. The spirit world, man. You see, it's always the same. Drawn by heat and conflict, the watchful Predator deems these gangs as worthy prey. One night, he casually drops in on King Willie and cuts off his head. In gruesome detail, we see the Predator suck all the brain juice from King Willie's gaping skull. After neatly polishing it, he adds it to his exotic trophy room of alien skulls. This scene reminds us what a diabolical villain the Predator really is. These dreadlocked hunters clearly delight in the macabre hunting rituals they bring to untold planets. Number 9. Killed Hanzo – Predators As much as a predator enjoys the thrill of the hunt, predators equally relish any opportunity for a proper one-on-one -on -one fight. We've seen this before when predators took on Dutch Schaefer and Mike Harrigan in hand-to-hand -hand combat. But this time around, things get really interesting when a predator takes on a silent, katana-wielding yakuza named Hanzo. <laughs> In a quiet field of long grass, the two adversaries confront each other like ancient warriors. They clash blades in a series of swift attacks that leaves both of them dripping with blood. In the end, they both fall, but hey, at least they both died with honor. Number 8. Blew Up Mac Elliott's Head – Predator Sometimes the Predator is just downright dastardly. As his friends try to get to the chopper, Mac becomes feverishly hellbent on killing the deadly space monster. He dashes off into the jungle with a vow to cut the name Blaine into the Predator's back. Sadly though, Mac's hunt for revenge is thwarted abruptly. He attempts quietly sneaking up on the Predator, but as he learns the hard way, the Predator is not so easily outwitted. Mac finds himself in tri-laser crosshairs, and then pew! The poor guy meets a grisly death courtesy of the Predator's plasma cannon. Mac was a great character who deserves a toast whenever Long Tall Sally plays on the radio. Mac! Mac! Get Ramirez on his feet, get to the chopper! Right. Number 7. Used Cuchillo as Bait – Predators Help me. When a ragtag collection of villainous humans are brought to a game preserve planet, there's no bottom to the Predator's barrel of devious hunting tactics. One of its more dastardly deeds here is using a wounded man as bait to lure others into a trap. The humans almost fall for it, but hesitate when Mombasa points out that he would use the same trick. I know because I have done this. Cuchillo seemingly pleads for help, but the humans decide to leave him behind. This turns out to be a smart move, because Cuchillo is revealed to be already dead. Help me! Help me! It's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. What a dirty trick. Number 6. Disarmed Dylan – Predator Aw oh man, come on Predator, why'd you have to kill Apollo Creed? In this unforgettable scene, Dylan scans the jungle canopy and spots a pair of fiendish glowing eyes. The Predator strikes, shooting Dylan's arm off. Be it in the boxing ring or the jungle, however, Carl Weathers isn't going down without a fight. As his bloody severed arm keeps firing away, Dylan prepares himself. The stealthy predator closes in for the kill, viciously striking his razor-sharp wrist blades into Dylan's gut. 
If you've always wanted to avenge Dylan, you can use Carl Weathers' DLC skin for Jax in Mortal Kombat X against the Predator and get even. Getting on my nerves. Number 5. Despined Billy, Predator. Somehow Billy knew there was something unearthly about his mysterious enemy. Perhaps for spiritual reasons, he decided to throw away his gun and challenge the Predator as his Native American ancestors might have done. We'll never know for sure how that epic confrontation went down, but Billy must have put up a pretty good fight, because the Predator regarded him as worthy of a trophy. In one of the grossest scenes ever, the Predator rips the spinal cord and skull from Billy's corpse. Yuck. Number 4. Subway Car Massacre – Predator 2 A gang of LA punks causes trouble in a subway car, rousing several vigilante passengers to whip out their guns. Unfortunately for them, they don't realize the Predator is in town, for whom armed conflicts are like a written invitation. The bloodthirsty Predator drops in and goes on a ghastly rampage, killing almost half the people on board. Jeepers! Maybe the Predator should mellow out once in a while. You want some ganja, man? <laughs> we know the Predator takes no prisoners, but he really turned the bloodlust up to 11 in this scene. What's next? Sacrificing humans to make xenomorphs? Number 3. Sacrificed humans to make xenomorphs. Alien vs Predator It would seem the Predators go to great lengths to hunt the most dangerous game. They actually built an entire pyramid under the ice in the middle of Antarctica explicitly for hunting xenomorphs. And of course, they needed plenty of humans to breed the xenomorphs, which is why they built it at the South Pole. Uh, wait, what? Okay, so regardless of this movie making little sense, the concept of predators sacrificing humans for ritualistic combat is actually pretty cool. Once every hundred years, young predators would fight xenomorphs to prove themselves as worthy hunters. The humans who worshipped the predators would gather in a sacrificial chamber to get impregnated by alien facehuggers. Ugh. But if the hunters lost, they made sure nothing survived. Number 2. Self-destructed and took out everything around him. Predator, Predator 2, and Alien vs. Predator. It's a bomb. Well, I hope it kills every one of them. Sometimes interplanetary safaris don't end well for the Predators. That's why they always have one last trick up their sleeve. Well, on their wrist gauntlet, actually. <laughs> if they ever find themselves in a world of hurt and it seems like a bad idea to stick around, they can activate a self-destruct bomb. It's a hell of a way to go, but it's a surefire way to take down surrounding enemies along with them. Shit happens. By doing this, the Predator proves that he's as cunning and deadly in defeat as he is in victory. Still, kind of a jerk move. Oh, shit. Number 1. Killed Detective Jerry Lambert, Predator 2. Jesus Christ, what the f are you? This moment makes Bill Paxton one of the only two actors to be killed by a Terminator, an alien, and a Predator. It's actually a pretty cool piece of cinematic history if you think about it. And it's worth noting that he goes out fighting with the same gusto as Hudson from Aliens. Even after running out of ammo, he resorts to fighting with a machete and harsh language. Come on, mother the Predator kills him and rips his head off for a trophy. Very gruesome, but we'd expect nothing less from the most deadly hunter in the universe. It sure seems like comic relief characters always get killed by the Predator. Stay frosty, Keegan-Michael Key. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.